So I think I found an AI cheat code. This is a combination of Perplexity, DeepSeek, and Claude all in one interface. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this to get better results. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So what exactly is this AI cheat code? And I understand that's a bit clickbaity, but I had to get you in with the hook somehow. So what this is, is a perplexity space. And these are 100% free to create. You don't even have to be a member of Perplexity Pro to create these. All you need to do is go to the home screen of Perplexity. I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Click Spaces. And here you would click Create a Space if you don't have any already created. And in this example, what I did is I created a perplexity perplexity space for my Ryan Dozer personal brand. Now you can think of a perplexity space as an alternative to a chat GPT project, a Claude project, or even a custom GPT, where essentially it's a knowledge hub. We can give it custom instructions here that I can assign it to do different things. We can add sources. So any files you want to upload to train this perplexity space, whether that's information about writing samples, the common AI words and phrases to avoid, it could be brand styles, brand guides, anything that's relevant to train this perplexity space. And this is a recent update. You can also add links. So here I added my YouTube channel. Maybe you have a company website or a personal brand website you want to add there. That's another great option to train it. And I do have separate tutorials showing you how to build a perplexity space step by step. I'll leave those in the video description below. But I first wanted to explain that this is what this AI cheat code is all about is creating a perplexity space. So how does DeepSeek and Claude fit into this equation? Well, I don't know if you guys heard the other day, but there was a major update where Perplexity integrated DeepSeek R1 into its pro search functionality. And I see here, if you click the toggle button for pro, OpenAI's O1 model is also built into this. I don't remember seeing that before. So it looks like they built DeepSeek R1 and OpenAI's O1 into their pro search functionality. But this brings me to my next point. In order to do what I'm showing you, you must be a member of Perplexity Pro, which still costs $20 a month. So my advice would be to try it maybe for a month because I promise you guys, you're going to like the results that you get pairing DeepSeek with Pro Search and also with Claude. Now, where does Claude come into this? Well, on a Perplexity space in the custom instructions, if I click edit, if you scroll down, you'll see AI model right here. And if you're not a member of Perplexity Pro, you do not have access to change this model. You'll just be on the default model that Perplexity gives you on the free version. So here you can toggle between Sonar, GPT-40, Grok 2, if you want to try Grok 2, or Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is still one of my favorite AI models for short form copy, for writing, things of that nature. And then you would click Update. So that is the secret sauce. And before I run through a few examples, I first want you guys to realize how powerful this is. We have a combination of Perplexity Pro searches, which I was a fan of those before DeepSeek R1 integration. I think the search results on Perplexity Pro are higher quality. I think the sources are better. And I actually prefer using this oftentimes more than Google search results, search GPT inside OpenAI's platform, or any other LLM or search engine floating around. So that's number one. And and we also have DeepSeek R1 built into Perplexity. Think about how important this is. We no longer have to go to DeepSeek's website to use R1 like we had to previously. And for those who are concerned about the data privacy issues, which is 100% valid, by the way, if you go to DeepSeek's website, they store all the information they collect in servers located in the People's Republic of China. Versus now, if you use DeepSeek R1 on Perplexity, those servers are located in the US and that is a very big deal. And lastly, versus going to Claude's website, we can now access Claude 3.5 Sonnet along with DeepSeek R1 and Perplexity Pro searches. So this is such a powerful combination. I would highly recommend you guys try this. 
So now I wanna show you some examples of how I'm using this combination for real world applications. And number one is ideation. So in this example, I'm prompting my perplexity space with the following. DeepSeek is a hot topic right now online and I wanna create more useful videos related to DeepSeek on my YouTube channel. Provide five video ideas that would provide value to my audience and have the potential to go viral. Include a catchy title and target keyword for each video idea. Now I wanna make sure Claude 3 3.5 Sonnet is enabled, and I also want to make sure DeepSeek R1 is enabled with a pro search. So I'm going to click enter, and I'm going to skip ahead after this output is complete. All right, so here are some of the video ideas that Perplexity paired with DeepSeek R1 provided. DeepSeek first chat GPT, I already did that. That's a really good idea. It's one of my most popular videos now, actually. Why DeepSeek won't talk about Tiananmen Square or Taiwan, that's a funny idea that it provided. Building a game with DeepSeek's secret weapon. The NVIDIA killer, how DeepSeek changed AI economics. Hacking DeepSeek, bypassing China's AI filters. Now, what's really cool about this, under the pro search toggle, if I click this, you can go through the chain of thought reasoning that we could previously access on DeepSeek's web. Website. So it's saying beginning analysis. Okay, let's tackle this query. So it's almost like thinking like a human being, which is one of the cool factors of DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model. And we can also see this inside Perplexity's interface. So now I can go through and ask it to generate me a script. I could ask it to generate me a description, uh, tags, right? On and on and on. We could go from these five ideas, but I just wanted to show you a really quick example of how you can use this combination. Now, another useful example of this combination is researching AI news. And I'm not just talking about going to the search bar and saying, provide the top AI news today. What you can do to make this a little more advanced and get better outputs is you can first ask for an advanced research prompt I can use to get only the top and most important AI news daily. So it's gonna generate an advanced research prompt. And I use this tactic on ChatGPT, Claude, and other LLMs, one of my favorite ways to use AI tools. And so here it gave me an advanced research prompt. So what I can do is I can copy and paste this prompt here. I'm going to copy it. And you can obviously fine tune this if you don't like it all the way. Go back to my perplexity space. I'm going to paste in that prompt. Make sure DeepSeek R1 is enabled, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and then I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete. All right, so here are my results for AI news when I use that advanced prompt generator. What I like again is you can toggle the pro search here and you can look at all of the different things that R1 was using in its reasoning, excuse me. What's also cool about this, number one, it's very long, very detailed. It also pinpoints exact sources on what it's looking at to scrape news. Just a really cool attention to detail here that DeepSeek's R1 provides that many other models do not. So if I scroll down to the answer, I like how it formatted this versus just listing, here are the top five stories with a link to each one. If that's what you prefer, you can do that. But what I like about this is it looks at the impact. So how important is this piece of news based on a five point scale? Who are the key players involved in this news? The core innovation, so a little blurb about what this is and also a sector ripple. So what sectors does this piece of news affect? So right here, Deep Seek R1 gains traction in scientific research. Four out of five impact. Here are the key players. The core innovation, open source reasoning model matching GPT's O1 technical benchmarks at 7% cost. It even provides the source again right here. Controversy erupts over model distillation practices. Microsoft's AI spending warning shakes market. Uh, sanctions drive Chinese AI innovation. So all of these stories are probably related to deep seek somehow, some way. Again, you can ask a follow-up. Do you want more AI news stories? Do you want this in a different format than what's listed right here? Just spitballing some ideas here on how we can use this combination to get AI news. Now, the last example I want to show you is a keyword research prompt, and this is pretty advanced. I'll leave this and all the other prompts that I showed you in the video description below if you guys are curious to use those. But really the gist of this, what I'm doing is I'm telling Perplexity Pro, hey, here's the primary keyword, which is AI tools for marketing in this example relevant to what I'm doing. Provide a comprehensive keyword analysis and include the following details. Monthly search volume, cost per click, keyword difficulty, search intent, content ideas, all important metrics in a keyword research report. Again, make sure R1 is toggled here and I'm going to click go and I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete. 
All right, so here are the results I got for running a keyword analysis based on the target keyword AI tools for marketing. And again, you would replace this for whatever your target keyword is based on your business or industry. So we can come up and toggle this if you want, just to see what R1 was doing in the background. I, I just like how it links to things and just explains step-by-step -step its reasoning. I think that's a really cool detail that DeepSeek offers. So here it provides the responses, monthly search volume, 8,000 to 12,000 searches per month. It provides the sources, provides CPC data, keyword difficulty data, search intent. This is important content ideas and angles. 15 AI marketing tools transforming campaigns in 2024. Uh, how to integrate AI tools into your workflow, top free AI marketing tools, case study. So what we could do now with Claude 3.5 Sonnet paired here is honestly, we could write a blog post for each one of these content ideas where it makes sense. As I do believe Claude 3.5 Sonnet is still one of the best models for writing. And I like this, related keywords and metrics. It generated this table for me, best AI marketing software. So it gave me some other long tail keywords with with useful metrics here like volume, CPC, KD, and also intent. So long story short, this is another way you can use this combination of Perplexity Pro searches, DeepSeek R1, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is keyword research. So now I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Is this something you're going to try? Are you a fan of Perplexity, DeepSeek, and Claude? I really wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. And also, I hope this video provided value. If you did learn something, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon for more videos just like this in the future. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.